counseling is most effective when both of us are on board for change. But what if my spouse is not on board for change? That's a question we get asked quite often. Well, I want to start by saying that making demands to attend counseling rarely works. I want to encourage you to ask good questions. Questions like, are you happy with the direction of our marriage? Do you think that our marriage is glorifying God? Not said in a way that's a you know, assaulting, but in a way that is innocent and desiring an actual answer. Are there things that you'd like to change, but you don't know how? The goal is to show your desire to change, your desire to please God and them as well. Don't condemn, don't demand. Inspire hope that you are not an immovable rock demanding change of only them. Absolutely, and God's word gives us an example in 1 Peter chapter 3 of a wife winning over her husband by the way that she lives her life. It isn't even necessarily in the words that she's saying. You see, when our hearts are right with God, our attitude and our actions and our words, it shows it. And that is really attractive to someone who's in a hopeless state like your spouse might be. This isn't the time to pressure your spouse. This is the time to love them the most when they deserve it the least, when they least expect your love lean into them. Also, don't forget to cover your marriage in prayer every single day. And don't be afraid to pray out loud with your spouse. If your spouse has questions for us, have them reach out to us. We want them to be perfectly confident in taking this next step. You can always call us at 860-531-VOWS, V-O-W-S, or 8697.